Let's do some more word problems. So we're on page 21. I think this was still unit 2. So 134 girls, 134 girls, and 119 boys, 119 boys, took part in an art competition. Took part in an art competition. Art competition. 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 How many more girls than boys were there? How many more girls than boys were there? So let's see if we could draw this out using the, the standard Singapore math bars, or whatever they like to call them. So let's say there were 134 girls. 134 girls. So let's draw a bar representing the 134 girls. Here, the unit of length is girls, as opposed to balloons or cookies. So that's 134. And then there were 119 boys. So let's. I'm using stereotypical colors for boys and girls. Let's see. You probably don't know what stereotypical means. You can ask someone. Then 119 boys. Well, 119 is a little shorter than that, so I'm just getting a rough sense of things. So let's say that this is the boys right here. That's the boys, and there the unit is boys. Or maybe the unit for both is people or kids. So that's 119 boys. And then we don't care what they took part in, but it happened to be an art competition. So it says, how many more girls than boys were there? So how many more? How many, let me do this in a, how many more girls than boys were there? Well, if you have 134 girls and 119 boys, it's essentially asking how many more girls are there than boys? So how many more was going to be this distance right here? Right? Because this is going to be the difference between the girls and the boys. Or essentially, how many more girls there are there than boys? And then how do we figure out the difference between two numbers? We subtract the smaller from the larger. So we have 134. Let me pick a neutral color. We have 134 minus 119. And let's see if we've learned how to regroup or borrow, or whatever you want to call it, properly. So let's see, this one is larger than that. Well, it's equal to that one, so that's fine. We could subtract the hundreds place. We have 30 here and 10 here. We could subtract there. We have a 4 in the ones place and a 9 there, so that doesn't work. So we need to somehow take some numbers from, one, from this area and add it to this 4. So the easiest thing to do is to take a 10. right? So we have three tens. Let's take one away, so we have two tens. And so we, we took a 10 away. And when we put a 10 in the 1's place, that becomes a 10. So what's 10 plus 4? Well, it's 14. Right? Just so remember, we took a 10. We added the 10 to the 4, 14. And so w when you take a 10, this was 30, so it becomes 20. A 2 in the 10's place is the same thing as 20. And now we're ready to subtract. 14 minus 9 is 5. 2 minus 1 is 1. And then 1 minus 1 is 0, but we don't have to write it, because 0, 1, 5 is the same thing as 1, 5. So there are 15 more girls than boys. So this is the length. That is 15. Or the 15 is the difference between the number of girls and the number of boys. Let's do another one. OK, May Lin. May Lin. Saved $184. Saved $184. She saved 63 She saved $63 more than Betty. More than Betty. How much did Betty save? How much did Betty save? And I know I haven't say, said this recently, but you know, after I write down the problem, try it, pause the video and try it yourself. Uh, how much did Betty not said save? So pause it now if you want, and I will now explain it the Singapore math way. So May Lin saved one hundred eighty-four dollars. So let's see if we can draw. So this is May Lin saved one hundred eighty-four dollars. So what is that statement? 
Let's draw a Singapore math bar. This is what Malin saved. Units here are dollars, which is in some ways the most interesting of all the units. So that's 184. That's what Malin saved. She saved $63 more than Betty. Interesting. She saved $63 more than Betty. So we don't know how much Betty saved. Let's 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 how much Betty saved is in yellow. How much did Betty save? Well, we don't know it, but we could draw it, right? We know that Betty saved less than May Lin, right? Because we say May Lin saved 63 more than Betty. So let's. This is Betty. This is the amount that Betty saved. This is Betty's bar. Betty's bar. I don't know. I'm just picking a random length. So this is Betty's savings. Betty's saved. And this part here that says Maylin, the she here is Maylin, right? Maylin saved $63 more than Betty. So that essentially tells us that the difference between the amount Maylin saved here and the difference and the amount Betty saved is $63. So this distance right here is 63. You could view that a bunch of ways. You could say if Betty saved $63 more, she would have saved the same as May Lin. Or you could say if May Lin saved $63 less, she would have saved the same as Betty. But the bottom line is the difference between the amount May Lin saved, so this is M for May Lin, B for Betty, the difference between the amount May Lin saved and the amount Betty saved is $63. Or you could say the difference between the amount May Lin saved and 63 is the amount Betty saved. So how do we figure out the amount Betty saved? Well, we would take, essentially, we'll think about this yellow is essentially going to be 184 minus 63, right? So what is 180? Let's write that down. I'll do it in another color, in green, because we're dealing with money. 184 minus 63, not 64, 63. So let's see, 1 is greater than nothing, 8 is greater than 6, 4 is greater than 3, so we can just subtract. 4 minus 3 is 1, 80 minus 60 is 20, or 8 tens minus 6 tens is 2 tens, and then 100, or 1 in the hundreds place minus nothing is just 1 in the hundreds place. So 121. So Betty saved $121. And if you do the math, you can see that 184, which is what Maylin saved, is $63 more than 121. Let's do one more. John read 32 pages in the morning. John read 32 pages in the morning. He read 14 pages less in the afternoon. Let me do that in another color. He read 14 pages less, I'm assuming, than the morning, in the afternoon. 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 Oh, this has a part A and a part B. Fascinating. So part A asks us. How many pages did he read in the afternoon? How many pages did he read in afternoon? Afternoon. And part B asks us, part B asks us, how many pages did he read altogether? This is a two part. How many pages? Read all together. All together. OK, so let's see. Let's do our Singapore math bars. So John read 32 pages in the morning. So let's just draw a bar that shows how much he read in the morning. So that's 32. 32 pages. That's how much he read in the morning. And we could, we could write down morning. And then it says, he read 14 pages less in the afternoon. So let's say, if this is the number that he read in the afternoon, it's going to look something like this. We don't know the exact number just yet, but we'll figure it out shortly. So this is the afternoon. 
afternoon. And it says he read 14 pages less in the afternoon. So however much this is, the difference between the afternoon and the morning is 14. Let me pick a neutral color. So this distance right here, or this size, whatever you want to say, is 14. Right? The difference between the morning and the afternoon is 14. And the morning was 14 more. So this is 14. We could draw a bar here. So we could say the morning, the number of pages in the morning, minus 14 is equal to the number of pages he read in the afternoon. So let's do that. Let's do that first part. An act it's in the afternoon. So if we say he read 32 pages in the morning, and it's 14 more than he read in the afternoon, let's subtract 14, and what do we get? Well, first of all, I see 3 is greater than 1, but 2 is not greater than 4. So we're going to have to regroup or take away, take some of these 10. So we have a 2. Let's take 10 from this 30. So if we take 10 from 30, this becomes a 20. right? 2 in the tens place is the same thing as 20. And then add the 10 here, and we get a 12. right? So 12 minus 4 is 8. And 20 minus 10, or 2 minus 1 in the 1's place, is 10, or 1, right there. So he read, so in the afternoon, he read 18. So the answer there is 18. And then the second part of the problem asks us, how many pages did he read altogether? Well, that's going to be the morning plus the afternoon. So what we could do is we could take that afternoon size, and we could add it to the end right here. And it has to be the exact same length, roughly. I just took this and moved it over there. And so this is the afternoon. After noon, right? Because they want to know all together, and so this this length right here, we just figured out in part A of the problem is 18. So how many pages did he read all together? Well, that's the sum of the pages he read in the morning and the pages he read in the afternoon, and that is 32 plus 18. And so what is 2 plus 8? Well, it's 10, right? And you can't write a 10 here. But what we can do is, we could say, well, that equals 1 10 and no 1s. So we'll write no 1s and 1 10. Right? 10 is, you know, it's 1 10. So if we, put, if we could just, instead of putting it in the 1s place, because it won't fit there, we'll just put it in the 10s place as a, just the, the digit 1. Right? A 1 in the 10s place represents 10. And then we have 10 plus 30 plus 10, or 1 plus 3 plus 1 in the 10s place, and that equals 5. But since it's in the tens place, it represents this represents 50 plus 0 ones, or the whole thing is 50. So how many pages did he read altogether? He read 50 pages. See you in the next video.